What up though? Roddy Rod, big business. You know what it is. Hey. Got another video, man, from um the homie. Oh snap, 321. Make sure hit the link in the description. Uh subscribe to his channel. Uh he's doing big things over there. We got a video. Hold on. Technical difficulties. YouTube film review reviewer impressions. He already did the reaction. Uh, react reactors reaction this reactors um and a couple other things so I'm um, yeah I want to see if I can point out all of them who he's imitating or impersonating um I watched a lot of reviewers so I watched a lot of the small reviewers so I want to see if he gonna touch on any of them or just the big ones that's what she said Anyways, against this. <laughs> hey. Is this a new intro or is this? Let's get it, fam. That's a hell of a sunlight you got over your bed, man. How you sleep? You can't sleep in late for nothing, can you? UK. Here we go. Jeremy Johns. Chris Stuckman. Flick Pick. Smalls. Collider. Um. Yeah. That might just be me because... I'm watching them so much that they're the first thing I pop up. Alright, uh, here we go. style I used to do where he used to do his videos. Um, I'm tempted to I hate this film. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it right now. It's actually amazing how Tyler Perry keeps making these movies. Tyler Perry was good at Gone Girl, which you know is a film that I grew up with as a kid. But everything else Bruh <laughs> I wonder if you actually saw this movie. Blue to a Marty Halloween is probably the laziest film I have ever seen. The acting and the direction is just lazy. And the scene is going for way too long. Scenes that involve Marty and these other weird old people were agonizing to sit through. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot of unnecessary YouTube faces in here so little kids can go, Oh, look, Mom! Look, I know him from YouTube! <laughs> Come on, B. Tyler Perry's new film, After Money, will be a lot better than his previous work since it's looking to have a more stylistic direction. Really? And as you also may know, I grew up with that film, so... Okay, no, how we grow up with something that isn't even out yet? <laughs> I don't watch I, I hate everything, you know. You know. I mean, just the title was like, I don't really know. Really. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch his review, so. The animation was atrocious. The voice acting was abysmal. And the I think I probably saw like one of his reviews, so I can't really compare. Everything. Okay, yeah. So you hate everything, so. But Wait, all reviewers have their tropes. You hate yourself. There's no one. No, not even one redeeming quality. Shout out Rashad. Shit. Which in this case 
I mean, with all respect, this it seems like they all think this is the bad movies. <laughs> oh, here we go. I thought you were gonna save him for last, honestly, but I guess not. Uh. Nice. Go that far. That's what he said. This is true. He ain't right, get Dunker, did he? Just shake your cam. Yeah, this is what Come on, man. Social respect. On Blu ray. Don't below. Let me know. And if you'd like to see here, come on. I want to see more. Click right here to see more. That was nice. That was nice. The movies, yes, yeah, see, I don't watch it. I don't watch any reviews either. He does this has kind of shit. Hollywood can't seem to get any good ideas lately. So there's no doubt that Independence Day would get the same treatment. Jesus, this guy had a boring voice. This release and everyone was desperate for a sequel. They even said it on the poster. So what the f happened here? Returning cast members came back such as Jeff. What's the difference between me and you? The only one giving half a shit. But he still looks like he just wants to get his paycheck and go home. Woman also returns. Hurts and will wait. What? No. Not Will Smith. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, now, where did you get these pictures from? <laughs> Ongoing rumors stated that he was too expensive, that he read the script and wasn't impressed, and that he wanted his son Jaden to be in the film. Which we all know how that went last time. Will came out saying it was because he was already attached to suicide. Would have been that much worse? But you believe what he wants. What makes it worse is that they're facing with this other guy who's supposed to be his son, and he is bland. This goes for Chris Hemsworth's little brother, too. Both of these characters have no charisma or likability. Yeah, they like you. So they already fucked up by not having Damn. charisma of Will Smith. But not casting Mae Whitman to reprise her role as the president's daughter? It's not like she's not available because she's still acting in Hollywood. Or maybe it's because she's not a sports and a straight supermodel and that's why. All the side characters are shit too. You have this annoying, horny as hell guy, he won't shut up. Well, I was wondering if you wanted to get a drink and maybe fall in love. And this bland female who is obviously pandering to China. Okay, yo, for real though, chill with the transition. 
<laughs> Make the, uh, what you gonna do? Put you pump some fake muscles. <laughs> oh yeah, good luck on this guy, cause he is unpredictable to me. Like, I, there's no way I could even try to like impersonate him. What? What? <laughs> okay, okay. Because every scene in this movie feels like a Saturday Night Live sketch. Four, 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 four. We are the champions. I don't keep on. I want. No, I want to see this episode now. It's We love you. Can't even say if he's doing, if you know. Video, so this is kind of like crazy. So, here are the reasons. Sucks. Number one, the characters. Mm. Once again, this is a problem that all DCEU movies have. Mm. Okay. Oh, made his character even worse. And they made Batman act like Tony Stark. What are your superpowers? Not really. He's a complete joke in this movie. He is. Why is Batman saying jokes? Oh, he always says jokes. He says jokes. But they made him a joke like... And stop putting Batman in broad daylight. It just makes him look stupid. The Flash is supposed to be the comic relief, I think. Hmm. Well, they require a lot of focus. They, uh, they have like a rhythm that I haven't quite been able to. Like brunch. Like, what is brunch? I think. What well, I do find funny is how the Flash can't even run properly. He's always that was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. It's like some weird you gotta take points off of that shit, dog. Like, like, what is that? How can you 
you do that? How can y'all not? How can y'all let that slide? She's annoying. The last one. <laughs> she is kind of annoying. Her voice is, but she makes some good like other videos. Her reviews, her reactions, and stuff. Nah, nah but other videos. Hey, what is it supposed to be? Fifty Shades? What movie is it supposed to be here, yeah, Cinderella? Did she really say this in the interview? I'm not, um, I'm not, like, a, I go to her videos, I'm not, I don't think I'm even subscribed to her, but, like, other videos, really the reviews and the trailer reactions, I don't really watch that stuff for her, uh, movie sucks and I hear everything, I don't, uh, I don't watch their stuff, the Jeremy Johns was pretty on point, the, I don't know, stuff, man, I don't know, it's, it was kind of like his older way of doing videos, like, cause he, he changed it up a little bit. The flip pick was funny. And what am I forgetting? Damn, you couldn't do Smoke. I thought Smoke's been, the Smoke's would have been funny if you would have had like two of you. I don't know if you had the equipment. But somehow I had two of you. That would have been on point. Making sure, because I'm a big fan of the Smoke's. The Smoke's and Collider videos and John Campia. And I mean, I was watched Double Toasted, uh, For Me Known as Spill. Uh, new guy Sean Chandler. I love his channel, so I watch like all different type of stuff. So maybe we should do a part two, man. Um, I mean, it was pretty much shots all around, though. I mean, you have like pretty much all bad movies, or like I said, I remember the uh Suicide Scar review. I think that's the only one that I actually like saw before this, and I, I knew where you was going at. I said, hey, I'll be going to say Suicide Squad. I think I was definitely tricked. Cause when I saw, I saw the the crowd was just so hyped. I'm always seeing like the DC movies with DC uh, fans. Got men left, so I think that was trick. Seeing it now, I was like, uh, I still don't see. I still don't hate it though. It's still a cool movie. Uh, so I was with Jeremy when we missed that. Anyway, kind of about to die. So let me just say, cool video. That half the people I knew, I can pretty much agree on. But you be taking shots, B. You be taking shots, B. It'd be funny if, was, if one of them see this. And drop a diss track on you. I don't know. Anyway, as always, make sure to subscribe to Old Snap 321. Like, comment, and subscribe. My shit, big business. I'll holler.